Um, we got a little bit of a predicament here on the farm. Nothing major, but we're noticing that one of our goats has lice, which after researching it, we've come to realize that it can be pretty common for your goats to get lice in the fall and they certainly did. Some people may go to the vet to get some kind of treatment, but we of course try to keep the cost down on our farm as much as possible. And of course, we just like to go the natural route with things. We picked up a big bag of diatomaceous earth from the feed store and people say to kind of just like massage that into your goats. So that's what I'm gonna try today. It's my first time giving it a shot. I think we have to do maybe a couple treatments, but just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to everybody. So I'm gonna do it to all of our goats. That way we can just like eliminate it completely and hopefully get rid of it once and for all. And then as well as that, I will sprinkle it on the ground, on their bedding that they lay in. So anywhere where the lice may be, just on the ground, but it down in the hay, whatever. We're gonna make sure we kind of get rid of that. Here is the pure diatomaceous earth fossil shell flower. So one thing people say with diatomaceous earth is it can be dangerous for your lungs if you inhale it or breathe it in. So some people I've seen, they'll do like a face covering while they're doing this. Um, I'm doing this to the goat. I'm doing this, let's keep speaking. I'm doing this outside with the goats, so I'm not really worried about it. Maybe if I was in a close space, I would be covering my mouth for precautionary measures, but I'm just gonna be smart about it. So just take that into consideration. If you are doing this in an enclosed space, maybe in a barn or something, that you might want to do a face covering. But just be smart, just don't inhale it. in to all of them. And we're just really gonna dust them. I dusted these two up pretty well. Um, like I said, I haven't seen any sign of the any lice on these mothers, but um, I'm just hit them up as a precautionary measure. So we'll slowly go through the whole herd here. I have eight to do. Yes, yes, go on. Come on. Wondering why you haven't been milked. We're not milking. We're not milking. Yes, I know. <laughs> Stubborn. Come on, let's go. Back in we go. Get you guys all lice free. Yes, yes. In you go. Come on. She is all dusted up. Come here, bud. You can come. Up you go, buddy. Up here. Up, 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 up. Come here, Cornelia. 
Hey, bud. Come on, in the head gate. Yeah, you're so chill. You're so good about it. So, luckily, I mean, these goats are so chill. They are so not minding me doing this to them. They're really not putting up a fight at all. So it makes it easier for when things come up on the farm that need to be tended to, like random things like this. These goats are so easy to tend to. I can feel confident like managing or handling them myself. Sometimes it gets a little difficult when you have livestock that you feel like you can't manage on your own. But with goats, that 100% has not been the case. I felt super comfortable managing them. So for that reason alone, I just love having them as livestock. Hey, Brunelli, sorry, some of it getting in your face. Graceful. So this little guy is the one that actually has lice. And you can see here just by looking at his fur in comparisons to the others, it almost looks as if he has been scratching up against like a fence post a lot. Um, what you see here is like patches of fur that is like shoved up. So we're seeing that throughoutly on his coat and that there is a good indication that they have lice. So he was kind of our big indication that we have lice here. So we're really gonna take care of him. So when treating your goats with lice with diatomaceous earth, they say you only do two rounds of it. So the first round is essentially killing any lice that is hatched. And then the second round is killing any eggs. So if there is eggs on him right now, uh, it's not necessarily gonna kill the eggs. So I have to go in and kill, do a second round to kill any um, additional hatches essentially. So we're just gonna really work him in work this in him. Really make sure it's a good Trying to get away? Keep your feet on the stand there. Get in good underneath their ears. That's where they like to try and lay their eggs. I'm just gonna get them good. Give them a chest. All right. There's pretty good, hey bud? 
pretty good.